here with Muhammad Ali, and uh, he's in here with us for a couple days doing some training. And uh, while he's here, we're doing some videos together, so I definitely wanted to get a chance to uh, pick his brain about a few things. So he's going to jump on with us today and show some like a really cool detail for an armbar escape. So, uh, brother, thank you for coming in, and uh, take it away, yeah. Thank you very much, man. Uh, I subscribe to this guy's channel. I subscribe to this guy's channel, too. <laughs> Even though I can't understand everything, I watch some of the techniques from time to time. I was uh, watching that you posted uh, some details for arm bars, and then I was like, oh, maybe I can go together and put some more uh, content for mm. people to understand arm bars. And since, uh, like, you, you say, better, like, getting arm bars for white belts if I'm not mistaken so if we're talking about white belts I don't want to I don't want to be I don't want to be on white belts but they usually not, not going to be attacking they're going to be defending sure but, sure yeah. you know and it's yeah, the first in the beginning you're learning to survive survive yeah, 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 yeah that's absolutely. my thing when I was a white belt I used to pop my arm every practice <laughs> because I didn't like to tap <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to get out so bad and then I would be a going home like this you know but nowadays I, i've been studying a lot you know i've been training jiu-jitsu for 10 day, 10 years now and i have some stuff that i do differently you know a lot of people do a lot of stuff and i have my things too so i want to i want to share with you guys now cool can we let's do it brother sometimes we're going to be here you have a lot of different ways to defend right some people like to have this little grip some other people like to grab their own lapels and also do this i because i was doing a lot of mma in 2012 I, I developed this grip right here you know hand to hand grip just basic but i i love to be here because i don't feel that they can choke me or anything like that and i don't know i just feel good right here so if you do great if you don't you can do from different grips too what happens is that they're gonna be trying to collapse my grips right Boom, 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 yeah. So now they want to extend my arm, of course, and get the tap or break my arms. So what I want now, as soon as they, as soon as I feel they, they're going to collapse my grips, I want to create a little space, right? So that's what I'm going to do. As soon as he collapse my grip, I want to get my body par parallel to his body. So as soon as he get in there, I'm going to walk, walk, walk walk all the way parallel right so now it's a little harder for him to get leverage to break my arm but most people now they're gonna try to sit up right now it's bad because now they're gonna have this hook behind my head and now i'm stuck here forever you know unless i'm super flexible and can take it most people don't you know, so what I'm gonna do is that as soon as it collapse, or as soon as I feel he's about to collapse my grip, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a little bump over here, just so I can have this space to get my hand controlling his shin right here. I like to be here because now, when I walk, 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 there is no more hook behind my neck, right? And that's, a, a, that's the first thing I don't want. I think for this kind of position, it's just like defending the guillotine. Sometimes people get you in the guillotine and you get so worried about your neck that they eventually gonna get your neck. So from here, they got your arm already. You know, it's gone. So you have to make everything else so you can create some space. But if you keep worrying about your arm, you probably gonna they probably gonna get you you know so now as soon as my arm is extended already I don't have much to do now so now I'm, I'm gonna push this away keep walking parallel my arm is there I'm just trying to keep create some space right so now as soon as I get here all the way parallel I want to get up and defend the arm bar because it's still the trap here so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna come from here to his knee now I keep pushing it away. I want to escape my hip a little bit. So now I can come up. But usually good people, they're not going to let, yeah, they're not, they're not going to let you just pass their guard. They're going to go back to the guard. But you have to watch out for the triangle when you beat up. 
So here, boom, collapse. I'm I'm feeling already. Boom, I, I get here. Boom. Get here. Boom. So now that's when you gotta watch out for the triangle. You know, they're gonna try to triangle you. So you either can put both hands inside or come back. Or you can pull the other one back. Now it's gonna be a five for better positioning and stuff, but that's one thing that I, I love to do it. I remember uh, Roger, Roger defend the arm, but he always do that kind of thing. And mm. it's crazy how people can get his arm, even strong people. You know, so I saw watching it was like Purple Bell back in the day. And I was like, oh my God, that's good. You know, it works for gi or no gi. If you have MMA gloves, doesn't matter, you know, so. That's something that I love to do. Have you used it before to get out of an arbor? Like, oh my god, yeah. all the time. Or, because since I already know my grip, mm -hmm. I do I do, I do another stuff like this. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes, when I'm here, I'm gonna just get my elbow here. Uh. So instead of pushing in away and let you get my arm extended, I'm gonna just turn my hips out and put you in a half guard right here. Ah, uh, okay. Boom. So here, even if even if you get there, it's easier for me to, you know, create space to Boom. get out. You know, so that's the second one I do most. That's the that's my main one, trying to get people in the uh, half guard. Uh -huh. And if I can, if they collapse anyway, that's when that's, that's what I'm gonna to try to do. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks, man. It's awesome. And then. Um, for you guys watching this again, uh, this is Muhammad Ali. He's a world champion. He's a he's a bad dude. So uh, <laughs> if anybody if anybody watches uh, this video and they want to find out more about you, where can they follow you or uh, see more of your videos? Yeah, here on YouTube, I have a uh, YouTube channel already, but it's most most of my content is in Portuguese. So now I'm creating this new one. So my Brazilians don't get mad at me. <laughs> I'm, creating, I'm creating this new one called One Way Jiu Jitsu, and we're probably gonna put it in the description. Yeah, we'll put everything down in the description box yeah. for you guys below. Um, I just wanna make sure you, you say it as well. So. Yeah, I'm just starting. Uh, that's actually gonna be my third video, I think. I have one saying that I'm about to start. The second one is gonna be the vlog we're doing now. Sure. And that's probably, gonna, yeah, that's, I don't know. Cool. I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be there. So, so guys, it's an awesome technique. And if you guys would like to follow him and find out more about what he's got going on, um, whether it be his videos, he does really some really cool vlogs and stuff like that. Um, I'll put the, the links down in the description box below, so you can just go down there below and either follow him on Instagram or YouTube or whatever it is you like to do. And uh, guys, we'll have more videos depending on when you're watching. As we'll have more videos with me and Muhammad coming out later this week. Um, so thanks for watching, and hey, Muhammad, thanks for the video, brother. Thank you, man.